Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about the differences between the dryland training tiles and the roll-up shooting pad. A question I get a lot is which is better, which one slides better, uh, wh which one should I get? So I'm just going to go over the differences between them and hopefully it helped you decide which one is better for you. One of the biggest questions that I get about the off-ice shooting surfaces is which one slides the best? What does this puck slide the best on? So here I have the training tiles. I don't have them buckled together just right now. Uh, and I also have the roll-up shooting pad. And this one's been out here for a few uh, summers now and the winters, so very well weathered. Uh, basically, I haven't noticed any major difference between the two. Uh, at some points, when I first got the roll-up shooting pad, it seemed like the puck sl slid better. Uh, the shooting tiles, the puck slides great. But after you use them, I think it, it works out to be about the same. So I'm going to just show you with the puck here. The puck slides nicely on these training tiles. There's no like uh, huge difference between that and this one here. So just sliding it back and forth. You can see the, the puck slides great on both of them. So in my opinion, there's no major difference between the, bo uh, between the two of them. Basically, it's better than anything that you can get at home. Uh, it's better than shooting on plywood or any of those types of things. So. Both of these products are very good if you're going to use them off the ice for shooting and stick handling. I think the puck slides great on both of them. And if you really want the best combination, I definitely recommend the Green Biscuit. Because the Green Biscuit, uh, when combined with the off-ice shooting surfaces, works great. It gives you a really nice, uh, very low friction uh, area to uh, practice your stick handling. And uh, you can practice your shooting with a regular puck. So puck slides great on both the products. Another question I get a lot is which size should I buy? There, with the uh, shooting pads, there's junior, there's intermediate, there's pro, then there's the roll-up shooting pad, which is even bigger, and then we have the tiles, which basically you can make any size you want. For the best uh, size for your buck, the roll-up shooting pad is the best one to get because you get the most area for, um, for basically per dollar. So I definitely, I always recommend the roll-up shooting pad because if you get a really small one, as you get older and as you get a bit better, you're going to want more si more room and more room to stick handle. So I think that the roll-up shooting pad is the perfect size to practice a lot of moves, practice stick handling, shooting. You can line up pucks for one-timers and stuff like that. So I always say grab the roll-up shooting pad, uh, which on a side note, it's not that easy to roll up, but it, it still, you can roll it up. But uh, just if you're thinking that you can just zip it up real quickly, it's not that easy. But I do recommend it for the size and uh, the price versus size thing. Um, if you want to expand and get a really big area, like say you have a whole basement to do, definitely recommend these tiles. You can just get one box, set it up, it gives you something to start, maybe you can save up some more money later down the road, get another box, add that to it, and keep adding to it and adding to it. Because right now, I have my whole ba basement filled with these shooting tiles. I love it, it's great. I started with the uh, shooting uh, pads, the roll-up one, and then I wanted more size and more, more room, so I went to the uh, shooting tiles. So if you have room to expand, get the tiles. If you just want one spot to practice shooting, like I have this outdoor area here, just pick up the roll-up shooting pad. Another question that I get a lot is, which of the shooting surfaces is the most durable? Uh, to be honest, they are all very durable. They're all made of a similar material, HDPE, which is high density polyurethane, or something along those lines. Um, but they're all very durable, uh, sort of pliable plastic, so it's not going to shatter. You can leave them outside in the winter. The one that I've got here, I left it out here last winter, no problems. Left it in direct sunlight. It's nice and flat. Uh, very good product there. These tiles, I've had them in my basement. Use them a lot. Uh, if you want to park them in the garage, they have this honeycomb structure underneath, so it's not like they're going to crack or bend or warp or anything like that. And I showed in uh, one of the videos, when I did an initial review, I drove my car on top of them, parked it. No problem. So all of the shooting uh, pads, the shooting pads, roll-up shooting pad, and the dryland training tiles, all very durable. You can use them. They're all weather uh, material. So there's no problem. You can use them all in any uh, type of season. Um, with the plastic, I mean, if you're, say, in the southern states and they get a lot of sunlight, I would recommend, you know, toss the tarp over them because I think with a lot of expo exposure to the sun, eventually it could... Um, tarnish the durability of the plastic. So if you do get a lot of sunlight, I would say cover them up or put put them inside or something like that. But uh, yeah, they are very very durable products, and I recommend them all. All right, to end the video, I'm going to answer the question that I get a lot: which of the off ice shooting and stick handling surfaces is the best? Uh, that's a relative question. I think they're all very good. So I'm just going to run through the type of person you might be. If you just want something to practice a few snapshots on, you know, before the game, a little bit of a shooting warm up. 
you can go with the Junior shooting pad. It's the cheapest one. It's just a small little chunk of HDPE. Very nice and smooth, good for taking snapshots. It's going to protect the bottom of the blade of your stick, which all of these will. Uh, if you practice shooting off of card, cardboard or plywood or cement or anything like that, it's going to wreck your hockey stick very quickly. So it ends up saving you money. So if you just want to take a few snapshots, you know, nothing major, you can stick to the really small ones, save yourself some money. If you want something to practice on quite a bit, definitely recommend either the tiles or the roll-up shooting pad. It's going to give you lots of room. You can practice you know, toe drags, moves. You can even stand on it, practice putting the puck through your legs. All those types of things give you lots of room to practice on. So either the tiles or the shooting pad. The shooting pad I would recommend for people who have one area and you know put the pad about 15, 20 feet from the net, practice some snappers, slappers, a little bit of stick handing, that type of thing. Um, if you have an indoor area, I think that I would recommend the training tiles. So if you have a basement, a rec room, a garage, or something like that, grab the tiles to start, uh, set them up. If you like them, you know, save up some more money down the road, get more and more, and you can really expand and make a really awesome shooting and stick handling area. So if you just want a few snapshots, get the small one. If you have an outdoor area, I'd say the roll-up shooting pad is really good for that. And if you have an indoor area where you want to set up a really cool uh, training room basically then get the training tiles so hopefully that guy that has helped you guys um, answer a lot of your questions and helps you in picking the right stick handling and shooting surface for your training area